here is uh, make sure that we can keep applying the Moore's law to the radio as well. So you know, typically the Moore's law for whatever is digital, digital mm -hmm. circuits or microprocessors. So the benefit of that, as you know, is that whenever you get to the next technology mode, everything shrinks down, so you can pack more devices, you can pack more cities, and your area. Now, if you try to apply the same concept to the additional analog RF radio, uh, you will see that basically the traditional way of designing a radio, uh, it's not uh, very well suited to this very scale process. Mm -hmm. So you will, what, what, what you'll see is that if you keep using the traditional way of designing radios, uh, and you have you know, your digital on your, on, your, on your chip, and then you have this RF analog part on your chip. As you keep scaling, the digital is scaling very fast. The analog RF part of it is not scaling very well. Yeah. There are also other considerations, like uh, uh, the, the, the way a digital process is, is built. It's not really well suited for, for example, designing passive components, like inductors that are required in the, in the, in the RF analog design mm -hmm. for the radius. And also you can think of uh, the shrinking supply. Uh, somehow the noise is related to the room temperature, so it's kind of a constant. But when you scale the supply, your, your dynamic range for the signal is reducing. So okay. your signal-to-noise ratio is decreasing. So there are all sorts of issues that are happening. So what we're trying to do is, okay, is there a way of transforming the problem from this amplitude domain processing, where the information is encoded in the, in the voltage levels, to something that is a computation problem. Because if it becomes a, a computation problem, this can basically be solved by like a big digital circuit. Mm -hmm. And this would be perfect to be implementing this uh, super scale technology, and it will scale together with the digital. So to do this, um, we change the paradigm from encoding the information in the actual amplitude levels of the voltage to encoding the information at to, to the time when we actually cross, let's say, from 0 to 1. Okay. So our voltages are just digital, like 0 and 1, or 0 and VDD. And the information is encoded on the instant of the edge crossing, instead of the voltage level. Okay. So just to give you an idea, for example, let's say that you want to implement different amplitudes, and you have just like square waves, like the one you see in the bottom left. Mm -hmm. You can imagine that if you have two square waves in phase, you get like twice the amplitude. If you put them out of phase, you get zero amplitude. So you can see that then by shifting these two in between, you can get basically all the possible amplitudes. So now your problem becomes just having a circuit that uh, is able to shift these edges, like the, you know, the orange one there, mm -hmm. at a specific time instant. To what you need. Yes, and this is a problem that is well suited to be done with the digital circuit because you just have basically an inverter that, that switch from zero to one, vice versa. And, the, and the, all the calculation to go from the amplitude to this phase shift are you know, showing, shown there. And these are something that, yes, are computationally intensive, but we have very strong digital that could take care of it. So eventually with this, with this uh, it's basically radio architecture and design methodology, we can build a radio that is mostly digital, Okay. And that works very well in this very scale process, and it will scale at the same rate that of the digital stream. And here we have the this is the actual uh, chip that we have, and uh, you can see these are the bumps that attach to the board. Mm -hmm. And we have that board set up as a uh, transmitter, and that board set up as a receiver. And we're streaming a 1080p video. Okay. okay. And this is live. As you can see, another. So those are the antennas? Yes. That's Each the white box? Antenna, yes. And that's the, the receiver. So, and we believe that this will enable what we call compute continuum. And the scope is analyzing the actual. Uh, that scope is showing um, uh, the actual digital signal. phase lock loop signal okay. that is coming from the transmitter, and that is the uh, constellation diagram of the transmitter, uh, basically showing a very good constellation, which means those dots they are not spread around. You can yeah. actually identify the single loops. There's less that's noise. Yes. yes. Cool. So with this, we will be able to have. Uh, the digital integrated with radio, and so we will have 
everything that is like a brain, everything that computes, like a microprocessor, microcontroller, will also connect. Because we can have the radio together with the microprocessor for anything that needs like a microprocessor. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.